Hello, who's first? Lube Helios first on my screen. Tommy Crayons. Nancy Soran. The ice is nice. DB looking. Lobby Maple. Yes. I must tweet. Building a KB fans AX right now. See how long it takes the bot to ping the server today. the Mandoff, hello, not Lux, not first, unfortunately. <laughs> Ham time, hello. Uh, yes, I did see the TGR final, yes. How is Keto coming along? You know, today, I'm doing pretty good. I think I've overcome the flu. I've been feeling pretty... Hmm, would I say I'm more energetic? I'm definitely more energetic than I was during the flu. I don't know if I'm more, maybe I am more energetic than when I felt when I was not on keto. But yeah, I haven't weighed myself. I'll probably weigh myself tomorrow. But yeah, we'll see if there's been any weight loss. <laughs> Mr. Nosley, Zombumon, hello. Quentin, Caliber, Worthington, 629. Yo, the PC Salamander is hot, yeah. It's probably gonna be one of my last few days that I get to play with it before I ship it off to its rightful owner. Good afternoon from SD Kelly. FD Soul always tuning in from SD. Have you seen that our mechanical keywords Discord was bought by ZOPZ? Yeah, I did. Photo Fox, hello. Also, how many people are in ch Oh, it doesn't have the... Oh, Nazi, you're also San Diego? Nice. Didn't know that. Isn't that the board? What? Uh, Code of Fox. There is a keyboard command. If you do keyboard, it tells you the current keyboard I'm using during the stream. Serious. Hello, Nick Sharp. Overwatch. Duck Boy. Hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Dylan Schneider. One, two, three. Have a good stream. Thank you. Thank you. What beans you sipping on? Uh, I forgot the name of the bean. They're from uh, Romeo's Cafe, the one in Berkeley. I think it was called like Love's Devotion or something. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Hey Teha, build Clavier Cyberblade. I would if Clavier would send me one. <laughs> uh, Pilot XJ, hello. Is this a Mark II build? It is round two. I so I'm guessing that's a Mark II, or maybe not a Mark II. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I usually can't catch the streams. Feels bad. Did I say hi to Polly's already? I thought I saw Polly's on chat. 
Or is Polyzoo not in chat? Maybe there is no Polyzoo. Maybe I was tripping. Nathan, I'll trade you my kid for your gasket zoo. I don't want no. I don't want your kid. <laughs> uh, I really want a clavier board. Um, I do have a clavier board in the pipeline. It's not the keyblade though. But yes, there is a poly. There is a uh, clavier board in the pipeline. Oh, I need to add a ring command. I still haven't done that. Let me add a ring command right now. Always forget to add the ring command. Where's my dashboard? Thank you so much for the three months in a row. Uh, this command will be called rings. The hexagonal ring is from Bing Bang NYC. Bing Bang NYC dot org. Uh, funkier pants. Thank you so much for the follow as well. It's from Bing Bang NYC. And the other ring is from was gifted to me. All I know is that it is from Etsy. Okay, there is now a ring command for anyone who is interested in my rings ever. Um, Sir Kimbo, thank you so much for the follow as well. I've just went invisible everywhere I could. I hate April Fall. <laughs> missed an S there? Where do we miss miss an S? Uh oh, I see. Generic 193, hello. The bot still hasn't pinged the server. Feels bad. Rooster TM, hello, hello, hello. Bot really slow. To, yeah, maybe the bot's being slow as an April Fool's joke too. <sighs> this camera angle gives you a headache. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Why do you do RGB? I think it looks pretty nice with this TB. I mean, I could turn it off. Go through the different RGB modes on QMK. Uh, why is it not top? Oh, there we go. I also a little bit faster. Should I just leave it like this all stream? <laughs> uh, I'm Zosu. Thank you so much for the follow. Chinese hello. Can do this. Go the other way. Where it goes fast. Other way, faster, faster. Wait, why does it have so many of these snake RGBs? I want. I don't want all this. Oh, what the? Just, oh, this is the Christmas lights. Flood control. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Well, the 63.5 Yawk Pandas have a problem returning the space bar. Ooh, that's a good point. 
We will have to see. Didn't think about that. Zekin, hello. Has the bot pinged my server yet? Nope, no ping still. Uh, but for some, whoever said that this camera angle gives you a headache, uh, I, I have a lead on a decently priced camera. I will actually be meeting up with them after the stream. I might have to end the stream early depending on how long this build takes. But yeah, I'm gonna go check it out after the stream. And if all goes well, I will purchase it. I will also purchase another capture card. I'll have to look into a C-stand of some sort so I can mount it overhead. Yeah. I'm still gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this angle rope. So I'm gonna have two angles that I can switch between. Um, I'll probably switch to like the overhead for like when I'm soldering, you know? And I can switch between the two angles depending on what I'm showing. Yeah. I, w I was thinking about replacing my... This... So like using this as an overhead cam and then the new camera as a webcam, but... I think this webcam suffices for now for just my face. I'm not that... You guys don't watch me for my face, so... I'll keep it with this low res one first if the stream gets bigger maybe i'll invest in a nicer webcam not a webcam but i'll actually get a mirrorless just for my face cam maybe get that nice bokeh on my face but uh yeah i plan on having an overhead view soon we'll see how quickly i can get out of the parts i watch you for my face my ears are here for the keyboard Overhead for soldering zoom would be epic. Yeah, so most likely when I'm soldering, I'll probably do an o I'll switch to overhead cam. Uh, I think I think it's, it'll be interesting switching between the two views for when I'm typing and just unboxing stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, the bot hasn't pinged. But I'm on a time crunch today, so we are going to go ahead with the unboxings. People should know by now what time I stream anyways, so yeah. Have I ever seen Ski with Pizza Art Cam? Yeah, I have. That's that's a little too much, man. That's a little too much movement for my taste. Okay, so this is the first time we will be seeing the KBD fans 8X R2. I'm guessing this one doesn't have the rhinestones. Yeah. I think your groupies watch you for your hair and your moves. I might have taken an informal poll just saying. What? What is my move? Jane V2 is losing versus Alice. Really? I thought the Jane V2 would win over the Alice. Whoa, what, what is this? Oh, okay. Pretty protective. I like this protectiveness. This is not the new 8X. This is the KBD 8X. The whatever is currently being sold. Or before. Ooh, okay. So we have the stabs. Not sh I'm guessing this is like a couple bucks extra on KBD fans' website. Yeah. The PC. What? PCB just ships wrapped in packaging foam. <laughs> oh, it's a white PCB today. R. Miller, hello. Yeah, this is not the Mark II, this is the Mark One. Frisco Meltelo. White PCBs, I'm personally not a fan of. Because it makes the flux a lot more evident when you solder, desolder, so it looks really ugly. I prefer colored PCBs over white. But I mean the color the color doesn't affect the functionality of it, so 
and especially for people like me I don't really clean the, the flux afterwards so it's just a little bit of an eyesore but yeah why PCBs always make me think of China This is an interesting plate. So it's the brass plate. I've never seen plate mounting cutouts like this. It's almost like they wanted it to be a sandwich mount and then they were like, eh, let's make a top mount. <laughs> Why are they cut out like this? <laughs> I wonder how durable this is too. There's like, it's literally just the, the cutout. <laughs> Looks decently thick. Yeah, it's probably a 1.5 millimeter, I'm guessing. He doesn't know what? All those cutouts by the right hand side. Uh, this is. I've seen this before, so this doesn't surprise me. I have seen cutouts like this. This is like really close to just. It's like when you, I mean, uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's for typing, no one types that hard for it to break. So I'm guessing there's gonna be no issues. Frisco Melt, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for the two months in a row, Frisco Melt. Lol, now on the board with all those keys on the right filed up. You just get a uh, ortho board. This is an ortho board right here. Hey, let's see this case though. How are you guys liking this vintage mat? So I, I decided to start using this because the colors look a lot nicer. The white balance turns out nicer with this vintage Mac versus the, uh, the black. I feel like it's easier to see stuff, but is this too distracting now, all this vintage stuff? Let me know. Yeah, like I looked at my VODs and the colors turn out so much nicer with a non-black desk mat. Uh, Sakun, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Worthington also just converted a Twitch Prime sub to a tier 1 sub, thank you, thank you. Look, it's cool because if you get it dirty, it just looks more vintage. It's fine, but distracting for me a bit. Ooh, ooh, okay, it's a two tone. Oh no, this has the rhinestones. Oof, this is the first look. On my stream at least. On a KBD fans 8X. Wait, this is so tilting. Like who thought this was good design? I mean KBD fans is a sponsor, but I tell all my sponsors <laughs> I will be honest with my opinions. Thank God they're making a Mark II without these rhinestones. Like, <laughs> this is a big design no-no. I don't even think like rave slaves would use something like this. I don't like this, so delete. Um, you can also see the machine mark on the inside at the bottom. Personally, I'm not too bothered by it. I mean, it's internal, you'll never see it. Just a thing to note. But, yo! How much does this cost on KBD fans? Like 200? 150? 
This is actually a pretty decent quality for what you pay for. Oh, 265, okay. But, I mean, 265? You know, not bad. Like, the, the animal is pretty impressive, not gonna lie. This black is definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet, but the animal is surprisingly smooth. Um, there's like no chamfering or filling of the edges, so it's a little sharp here. The corners are around it, but the top is chamfered. The bottom. Bottom's kind of sharp, but it's not tofu sharp. Yeah, this is pretty impressive for 265. Let's see if how the typing feel is once we build it up. But not bad. Anthem96, thank you so much for the follow. Does it cut stick? No, this isn't tofu sharp. I don't think any board will be sharper than the tofu. Bot just pinged? Yikes, so late. Let's put on the bump. Oh no, this has the black bump ons. What? Talisman Solutions. Thank you so much for the 1111 bits. Thank you so much for the Talisman Classic Solutions. Talisman Solutions Classic. Honestly, Talisman Solution. You, you help keep content creators alive. For those of you guys who watch Talk Clack, have you guys seen this man's contributions? <laughs> Snoop Doge, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Uh, you are now a Cherry MX Red Switch. We have Talisman Solutions. Yeah, I mean, you, your, your contributions are not unnoticed. Uh, did I see the Holy Panda shirts hoodies are up for pre-order? I did. I did see it. I like the color. I like that maroon color. But uh, just the graphic itself. The graphic's a little too kawaii for me. <laughs> I mean, not that my fashion taste is amazing, but... I'm not I'm not really into like kawaii. It's a little too cartoony. A bit too nerdy for me. So yeah. I will pass on it. <laughs> and I I don't know how the quality is. The first round though, that was some expensive hoodie. Yeah, the color is nice though. The color is nice. I'm sure people will buy it. People really liked the graphic of it. Just personally, the graphic is not for me, but the the 129. I don't know how much the second one is now, but 129 for a hoodie. I mean, Supreme retails at like 120 for a hoodie. <laughs> I I hope it's at least Supreme quality then. And that's not saying that Supreme quality is great, but I'm just saying. Supreme, I mean, Supreme isn't amazing, but Supreme quality isn't like the worst. Oh no, this is USB C. But like, if I'm paying one twenty nine for a hoodie, I better at least expect. No, this is the wrong box.
Would you ever wear a Supreme? I would wear a Supreme, yes. Uh, Wildcard3, thank you so much for the five bits. Gino, thank you so much for the follow. I own, I used to own a couple Supreme hoodies. I've sold off all but one now. Um, all the Supreme I have purchased were for retail. I st oh no, I not this, oh wait, no, we've heard this song. Yeah. Streetwear is such a scam. <laughs> I mean, once you go super deep into any hobby, it can be considered a scam, right? I mean, come on, keyboards, people paying hundreds of bucks for a keyboard. That's a scam, if you look at it from a certain angle. <laughs> paying for nice high-end watches, that's a scam <laughs> just depends on i mean yeah every every hobby if you go deep enough becomes a scam depending on who you are do i sell keyboards i don't sell keyboards i only assemble um i don't know i would like to sell keyboards in the future but I'm not really in a position to. <laughs> I don't think the market is there for me to sell keyboards. But yeah, if, if we continue to <laughs> if we continue to grow, maybe stocking keyboards and selling them can be a thing. Uh, the ice is nice. Thirty three. Thank you so much for the five months in a row. One more month, and you become a uh, Blue Alps badge. I'm going full backspace. Do you know where to find Alps mount plates for 10 kilos? Scotch magic tape uh, does not exist. You have to get those custom made. Unless the group buy explicitly offers it, there are no places where you can get a uh, Alps piece uh, plate. Most Alps plates that exist were either custom cut by the customer themselves or the group I happen to offer an Alps plate. Um, but like like the Mech 20, like the Jane plate, that's a fairly popular plate that 10 keyless boards use. You can probably easily find one of those, but if it doesn't use a well used mounting system like the Jane, then you have to custom cut one yourself. I'm a Rama Shul and I'm proud. What is the first switch for subs? Uh, TV Purple asks. It is a Hako True switch. One of my panels actually lists out the progression of the switches. It starts off from a very modern switch and you will pro progressively digress into a vintage and more OG switch. So we are going win keyless layout. So no need to test the in between keys. Think. Are we splitting right shift? What what layout are we going? We're going to full backspace, full right shift, full left shift, and normal caps lock. Okay, PCB is good to go. Did you design the sub badges? They're really well made. Uh, no, I did not. Also have in my panel. Uh, I have given credits to all of the people who have helped me out with my graphics. Uh, but the the sub badges were done by a, uh, a fellow mechanical keyboard community member, Janelli Bean. I don't know if she's in chat. But yeah, you can give her a uh, give her a look if you'd like her work. I just ordered Crytox Tool 5. Is that used just for stabs? Uh, you can use it for both stabs and switches. Oh wow, this is a lot of stamps. So I think the customers told me they also ordered clip-ins. So we will not be using the clip-ins. You 
use screw and stabs if you can. Okay, so these are not and then one of these. This is also a clip in. So this is the seven U. Yeah. Is your headphone the yes, I do have a headphone command if you're interested. Uh, getting a on debate on getting a keyboard what's a good place to start eclipse me uh i would highly recommend you checking out all of the uh, sponsors that i have linked uh, kbd fans is a great place to start if you are on a budget or starting off just joined proto for the new adex or the old one this is the old one smoff hello hello I think Mac versus PC is just preference. It's a never ending question, right? Mac versus PC. Is 324 good for silent linears? Yes. I would recommend 324 for silent linears. I would say 324 is a safe lube to use on most switches. So we're going to start off by clipping the steps. Can I use Crytox tool for Holy Pandas? Yes, you can. I would say go lightly with Holy Pandas are one of those switches that greatly you can screw it up greatly with lubing. Um, yeah, 204 you can use, just be uh, very sparing with it. Ornamentum, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Ghostly Gibbous, thank you so much for the follow. Could you guys hear that scream? <laughs> I need a move. <laughs> the, the goal is to... The goal is to go full time and move away from my crazy neighbors. I need to, I need to move to like a state where cost of living is cheap, and then hope that streaming can sustain me there, <laughs> so I can just stream whenever I want, record videos whenever I want. Feels bad. Oh, chat, if you guys are curious to how many redos I have done, I think the command is get re get redos, num redos, or no, it's redos, exclamation point redos tells me how many times I have said redo. Work from home? What do you mean work from home? This is my home. Or oh, you mean like moving with my parents? Uh oh, oh yeah. They have types as Texas bound. Yeah, Texas, I've heard Texas, I've heard good things about Texas and the cost of living there. I'd, I would be open if I, if streaming could help me survive. <laughs> How many orders, builds, and queues? Uh, I think I have builds lined up for the, like the next three weeks, so I didn't want to uh, accept any more and have people waiting. If you signed up for a build and I haven't reached out to you yet, uh, just hold on. I will probably reach out to you this week. You are not being ignored. Is it better to build one or start off by building one that is complete? Uh, depends on what you want to get out of it. Eclipse me if you and your experience level. If you've never soldered or desoldered, maybe it might be a good idea to buy something cheap and then practice with that first. Uh, if you already know how to solder and desolder, you could probably go ahead and try building one from scratch. 
Yeah. Bay Area Big Bad. Yeah, the 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 living situation in the Bay Area is not good at all. It's, it's pretty no Sugoi man. Thoughts on the Leopold FC 660 MPD? I would recommend it. I think Leopold is probably my favorite like OEM pre-built manufacturer. Leopold boards are pretty nice. The only drawback they have is their aesthetics, if that's your thing. I personally like their aesthetics, but I know a lot of people don't like their aesthetics. But in terms of just build construction and what you get for the price, I think Leopold is probably the best. Where can I buy a keyboard? Scrubby Graffiti asks. Um, I would recommend you check out my sponsors that I have linked in my panel. Have you seen the LZ Design pre? What? There's an LZ Design pre built? No, I haven't seen that. Uh, have you tried Crystal Lubes? So, yes and no. You guys go back through my vods there was one stream that i did with quakens of top clack where we spent four hours lubing and testing out 19 different mystery lubes that mike from novel keys sent us uh, the crystal lubes were supposedly in there so yes i have tried them but i've only tried a couple switches with them i haven't done a full build yeah. Would you recommend Helio switches? Yes, I would recommend Helio switches. Uh, do you know when Cable Car Design is going to start selling their cables again? Everest Blue says, not sure. He is currently uh, in the process of moving to a different country. So he is probably busy with that. And that's why he probably closed his orders. But once he is all settled in, he should reopen again. But there are other art there are other cable makers out there. I haven't tried all of them. Um, you can go ahead and try them if you want. There's tons of makers like uh, there's Chris cables, Juju cables, Zap cables, Met cables. Tons of cable, other cable makers out there. I, I hope we don't hear cops soon. That's going to be very spooky. <laughs> Do I still collect artisans? Yes and no. I have put off purchasing or entering raffles for artisans. No, just kidding. I did enter the latest ETF one. I, I, the only thing I entered for was the Cosmos, whatever the, the last one was. I entered for that one, didn't win. I'm kind of glad I didn't. Yeah, I've been trying to save up for a new uh, angle for the stream. So a new camera, a capture card, whatnot. So I haven't been purchasing many things. You'll be getting a new artisan soon. That's true, but that's not. I haven't purchased it. It's a trade. I personally go to Chris Cables. Loves this work. Yeah, so Chris Cable is one of the people I haven't tried yet. I don't know if Chris Cables is watching. Mr. Chris Cables, if you'd like to 
hook me up with a cable, I'd love to see how good your cables are. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a lot of cables. Cables aren't one of those things I just mindlessly buy. Yet. But yeah, I haven't tried Chris cables. Uh, Azul Owo, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, did I miss Ghostly Gibbous? Gibbous? Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the dream would be to have a custom matching cable for each keyboard, right? But I don't have that kind of... I am content with the keyboards, like the cables I currently have. I would much rather use my current funds for another GMK set or a keyboard. Because like cables, I think they'll be around. Cables aren't one of those things that come and go. They're pretty. They, they're pretty lasting. <laughs> so yeah, not too worried on like amassing a cable collection of cables right now. Uh, Gyro, Gyru, Giru, thank you so much for the follow. Nathan, done with GMK Kim, is looking to buy more GMK sets. No boy underscore pie. I haven't, I haven't bought anything. I haven't. Kind of tempted to buy Metropolis, but I can't. Nothing against Metropolis. Netflock, I don't know if you're watching. It's just I gotta buy this new camera and a capture card at a C stand. I joined in for the desk map though. I also sold off a lot of key sets. Boy underscore pie. I'm hopping on GMK Waves. GMK Waves I most likely won't buy as well because I probably can't afford it. Nines looks pretty nice. Probably won't buy it as well. I think I'll get the desk pad as well. Yeah, I think the desk pad looks really nice for Metropolis. I joined in for two. What about Mizu? I also won't be joining Mizu. I just, I pretty much, the only set that is like a for sure I will buy, even if I have to put it on my credit card or max out my PayPal credit, is uh, currently GMK Oblivion and GMK Olive if that happens this year. Is it worth to buy max key SA keycaps? Uh, I think so. If you are on a budget, they are pretty good. I'm personally, I'm personally not a big fan of SA, so take that with a grain of salt, but. I mean, Max Keys does provide it for a lot cheaper, so. Have you tried KBD Fans XAI L3 Aluminum Switch Opener? I have not tried that. I haven't tried that. I haven't tried the Nutcracker. I don't feel the need to try any of those either. I use the key boss opener and that's like the perfect size for my hand. Um, the nutcracker just seems a little bit too big for my, I think in my opinion. And then the AI one looks a little bit too small personally. I like how the key boss has like just the right enough length to like, so you can grip. How are JTK compared to GMK keycaps? The uh, legending difference is definitely noticeable, I think. GMK is still superior. So if legend, if you're someone that cares a lot about legending, then I, I think GMK is still the way to go. But color-wise, I think 
JTK has definitely improved. I mean, their legending has improved as well, but it's not quite there yet. Like, I, I, I have JTK Yolch. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, the couple pictures I've seen, uh, seen of Red Riot also seem really nice. The GNKs actually shine, Rooster says. Yes, after use, GMK will shine. But that's any key set. <laughs> Even PBT shines, guys. With, with use, PBT will eventually shine as well. PBT shines much slower than ABS does, but PBT is not immune to shine. Potato Cloud, hello. Do I like typing on palm? What do you mean, a palm plate? I have never used a palm plate. Do you even shine, Nathan? Zamumon asks. I don't actively evenly shine. Uh, I just... No, but I would like to one day achieve even shine. Like, I actually use the stuff I buy. I don't buy them. Most things are not just shelf pieces. Like, if I buy something, I use it. So yeah, I'm hoping that with use, you know, one day, one day all my GMK sets will have an even shine. things that it might have all those decks of cards boy underscore pie <laughs> um what are the decks i buy one to preserve and one to use so yeah so i mean I, i've shown you my decks right i tend to buy two of each deck the the goal in life for me eventually is to eventually have a house. I'll probably never own a house, but assuming I can get to the point where I can buy a house, I will have one room just dedicated to my collection of cards and keyboards. And then I'll have one unopened deck for each deck. And then I'll have one open for like people to play around with. So like this case, this one is closed, but I have actually opened this one. Yeah. yeah, I wanna just have a room with just shelves of cards, all like displayed nicely. And then you can go and pick and go ahead and play around with any deck of your choosing. And then also have keyboard, you can just grab it and then just use it. I'd have like a mini museum in my house. Five dollars to enter. So two of each keyboard, no, I, I would like to have two of each keyboard, but. 
So the thing with keyboards is kind of a waste to just have a key. If you're going to shelf a keyboard and not use it and just have it as a display, like why bother, why bother building it? <laughs> like what's the point of putting in keycaps and soldering and putting switches and lubing it if you're not going to use it? I think keyboards you should buy to use. Um, I can understand keycap sets preserving one, but like a keyboard, buying one just shelf, I think it's kind of, might as well just leave it as a kit at that point. Just have it as a kit and display that, but no point in putting in the effort to build it, lube it, just so it sits on the shelf. Uh, Aizen, thank you so much for the follow. Um, I'm currently using Crytox 205 Purple 24. Yeah, so I, I, I used to recommend, I still do recommend Dielectric Grease. Uh, I have personally moved to this Crytox 205 Grade 0. Uh, Dielectric Grease still works perfectly fine and is probably the smarter option for most people. Uh, this Crytox 205 Grade 0 is a lot more expensive. Um, I do think it is marginally a better product though, that's, so that's why I use it for uh, my bills and customer builds. So I want to give my customers the best. But yeah, Dielectric Grease still works perfectly fine. Uh, to shelf permanently. I know some people shelf their board permanently. Like a modern board. I could understand shelving a vintage board, but like some people actually shelf modern boards. Like if you're going to shelf a modern board, you might as well just build it up with like the cheapest switch you can possibly find. Don't even bother tuning it and then just slap a nice keycap set on it. Oh, what up? Hello. Just glue and tile. <laughs> Both well, hello. What is Jules? I saw you tagged me in something. I haven't checked it yet though. <laughs> I will take a look at it afterwards. Solution to keep it 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 to keep
please. David, hello, how are you doing? Ooh, that's probably too much. What? Wild card, thank you so much for the 45 bits. In Sovereign, hello. Uh, I finally flashed in a layout for this soft. So you can control the RGBs with the full power of QMK. I was uh, demonstrating it earlier on stream. Think of dielectric versus super glue. I have never used super glue, super lube, so I can't say much on that. But I know super lube is also a very popular option for many other people in the community, so I think I can safely recommend it as well. Uh, Dribrick, thank you so much for the follow. XD Scary, thank you so much for the follow as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks Saw for the two dollar tip. Feels bad. I sent a picture to Hing Hing Hong Hing of the the Reddit post where I was uh, showing off all three salamanders. He didn't respond. Maybe he's just a busy man. <laughs> Anyone have Rex for handheld vacuum solid snake drivers? Ooh. Well, I just I think I just bought like whatever was the top choice on Amazon. <laughs> it's pretty cheap. I just have one for my car. I don't know how good of a vacuum cleaner you're looking for. You should just go Dyson. Dyson is OP. Uh, KKV3 R. Thank you so much for the follow. What kind of switch is a Holy Panda? Linear or tact? Holy Panda is a tactile switch. Yeah, I guess it depends on your uh, purpose. Like how much suck power do you need from your handheld vacuum? I'm just I just use my handheld for like cleaning crumbs from my cars from rude passengers. So I don't I don't require too much of a hard suck, nor a large battery. So I just bought whatever was the record top recommended on Amazon. Is standard grade 205 a big difference from 205 grade 0? I believe so. Never use standard grade 2. I don't even know what standard grade 205 means. What is your suck power level? 70. Hey, Solid Snake, you can easily afford a Dyson. Just sell off your Aegis. Easy. Just make a post on mech market willing to trade <laughs> dark navy aegis for dyson handheld vacuum gg too easy man
Nice. And this came with. What were. Oh, the screws are here. Willing to trade for good suck. Any any translations avail? Can you use Trebosis three to four on stabs? Uh, I don't think so. It's a little bit too thin. What linear switch do you personally recommend me the most? Bagheez asks. I have a best linears command. If you are interested in my opinion for linears. First time in a while seeing Nathan on a hoodie. Callus. Hello. I was actually not wearing a hoodie yesterday too. It's a little bit hot lately. Hot for my standards. He's telling dummies to suck pee? Is that true, Alec Abrock? Do we need to ban this man? Is this why people have the English only chat, please? In their panels? <laughs> there is no best rubber dome command, unfortunately. <laughs> because the answer to that is does not exist. Best rubber dome cannot exist coexist in a single sentence next to each other. MX Xylens are linear, yes. All my donation options are bro. Feels bad. Um, did he say something bad, Zambumon? Was Abrock's translation of it correct? Oh, okay, there you go. Solid Snake did it for me. TY. Okay, I, gu I guess I should have an English only. <laughs> I'll, I'll permit Koreans for now because I don't think Korean... Viewers tend to troll like that. Nor have I seen bots come in with Korean cussing. <laughs> yeah, I'll need to. I'll need to add that in my rules. English or Korean only. Mod linears or Telios? Uh, don't use mod linears. No one uses mod linears. Okay, cultural bias revealed. Hey, I have seen other chats where it's just English and their native tongue only. Someone gave you a sub, who was it? Onk, uh, it is the person right above you. It is Talisman Solutions. He gifted you a sub. You want that as a role just in case they're breaking term to service and you don't, ah, I see, okay. Man, all these terms of service stuff. Too much, man. I have almost... I almost have all the parts for my first budget build. My Corsair K60, K55 feels worse and worse by the day. I 
Um, if it feels like it's sticking, that means you have lubed the rubber pads a little bit too much. to weigh this guy. Yes, brass shiny plate. 299 grams. Uh, we can weigh the case later. we are using today y'all call me pandas with sprit 63.5 gram springs lubatrobosis 3 2 uh, let's see someone did mention spacebar might have trouble returning let's hope that is not the case Thankfully, this plate will not kill my thumbs. What? You don't like the true stems? I personally like the true stems more than the clear stems. Uh, how expensive is it to build a keyboard? It can be as expensive or as cheap as you want. You can build a custom keyboard for as cheap as a hundred dollars. You could spend multiple grands on building a keyboard. Yeah, just up to your budget, really. I want it to be one dollar. <laughs> Not that cheap, unfortunately. Let's put in a couple switches. to pay me to build. You can spend 3.5k and not even have a <laughs> Oh, this one returns fine actually. I guess I was wrong about my... I guess 63.5 does return. Oh, did I speak too soon? Yeah, it's returning fine actually. Bless spacebar returns. I mean, if it didn't return, not the end of the world, it's just a spring swap. It's not like you need access to the whole uh, board to do it. Yes, Hyperfuse is always the standing caps. David. Oh, Polyzoo, you just joined. Hello, I thought you joined it earlier, but I guess I was wrong. Hello, hello.
everything feels good. We can continue on with the build. Nice. No, no delays so far, which is what I need today. Wait, what boy underscore pie? You're just following my channel? Hello? You haven't been following me until now? <laughs> Pick Pickles! Thank you so much for the follow. David, I feel like with Nathan's ears, he can hear in dimensions we can't even perceive. Yeah, dude, have you guys seen the size of my ears? Wild card three, thank you so much for the fall. My ears are the secret to perfectly tuned stamps. I perceive more than the average human. Uh, Dark King Silver, thank you so much for the two months in a row with the Twitch Prime sub. Ice Talks 2074, thank you so much for the follow. And he needs a streamlined build just in case he needs to bail his <laughs> top tier ears. Housings are plate mount, so I'm going to need to solder on a couple switches. But I should also confirm to put spacebar in the right place. I think I did, but you can never trust uh, your eyes for Swiss cheese layouts like this. So I will put in the switches. Kenny K two K four one. Thank you so much for the follow. Ice Swallow. Thank you so much for the follow. Nathan's ears are retooled. My yeah, my ears are definitely retooled. That's one way to put it. Nice addition to the panels. Yeah, Talisman, thank you. It's been there since its inception, actually. Hike333, thank you so much for the follow. Northern Starlight, thank you so much for the follow. Rambamon, have a good night. Okay, these screws. Now one, two, three, that came out. Four, five. I just realized where are no it's in the box it's in the box wait aren't there one one two three four five. why does this not come off hello do I need to yoink this oh 
Oh, that's in there a little tight. That's a little tight. But I guess that's good. Okay. This is the top piece. Okay, it's not focusing because there's just too much white space. Yeah, this, this rhinestone is a no-no. This is the inside gray piece. So it'll focus. Yeah, so it's got a little, it's got guiding lines and a little ridge along the edge, you can see. So it made it a little bit tight. Before we do any soldering, let's just confirm. Okay. I did put spacebar in the right place. Nice suit. A mechanical keyboard would you recommend for a first time up to 150? I've never had mechanical keyboard switches. Keyboard before. Um, if you're going to spend $150 on a first keyboard, honestly, I'd say go super cheap. I mean, just kidding. What am I saying? I'd say go either save up a little bit more. I mean, 150 isn't enough for a nice keycap set or a housing or both um, it might be better to just get a pre-built at that point um, in which case i would recommend something like a leopold 750 or any of the topra real forts real force uh the topra leopold sorry Yeah, one like 150 is how much an average GMK set will run you most likely. You can go super cheap on places like KVD fans if you want. But I think you will quickly find out that you want more. I think for mo for most people. But I mean if you if you'd much rather take that first uh, test run then yeah, you can I think you can definitely build a keyboard for around a hundred bucks just from parts from KBD fans. EO Mix, thank you so much for the follow. Awesome thing about Leopold are, are their keycaps are really good quality. Yeah, Leopold's stock keycaps are extremely nice. HHK, get a used HHKB. Uh, it'll probably run you a little over 150, but you can probably find a used HHKB for like 180, 160 even, if you're lucky. Code aside, thank you so much for the follow. As well. Yeah, I mean, there, there's honestly no reason to buy a brand new HHKB, in my opinion. There are so many used ones out there that you can purchase for a great deal. I mean, unless you have, unless you're like a super 
clean freak and you cannot live with the fact that someone else has been using your board for a while used HHKBs will save you a lot of money and if you end up not liking your HHKB you can resell it and recoup most of what you paid for He's right, there are a ton of used HHKBs out there for cheap. Oh, are you selling on Cool Gray AJ? I got my HHKB for 80 bucks, what? Wow, that's so cheap. I just wish the HHKB was slightly heavier, only my real complaint with HHKB. Um, have you put sorbethane in it? So adding one shell, one line of sorbethane, one layer, sorry, actually increases the weight by a noticeable amount in my opinion. Small, smalt karna, thank you so much for the follow. Like it won't make it feel like and aluminum custom. Oh, that, this is a little tight. But I think uh, lining it with sorbethane actually does noticeably increase the weight. Why doesn't Topra have more custom options? Because. Um, well, okay, Topra, despite how much the, I mean, even within the custom mechanical keyboard community, Topra isn't as widely used as like Cherry is. So it's, it's not really profitable for, I guess these companies, they don't view it as profitable to ex put out all these different options out there. Because just the, the market size for Topra isn't that big. This is a little bit tight. Oh, that one was easy. If <laughs> is this gonna be <laughs> a longer stream than I thought? Time to bring out my good friend, Drary. Pudsy, hello. Uh, Sukocha, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry if I missed it. Oh no. What the, what is this ring here?
back to gym. Oh no, this popped off now. What? Oh my god, this is so... Okay, that's in. <sighs> Maybe I will have to keycap each one of these. How tough are you? I'm pretty sure my thumb is the strongest in the community. I have built four PCs, I have built four Singas with Holy Pandas. I'm sure no one else has done that with their thumbs. I've also built two TGR 910s. I think those arguably have the tightest plate. Oh no, the tightest plates. The worst plates you can use for Holy Pandas in terms of tightness. We should have thumb wars in the next meet. Where do you get holy pandas? You either participated in the math. Uh, Waffle, hi! Thank you so much for the three months in a row. Uh, Mass drop had a group buy for it or you can make it yourself. A holy panda is a combination of a halo switch stem and a panda housing. You can purchase halo trues or clears from mass drop and novel keys sells panda switches. Oh wait, I should make my bot say Teha Pog instead of just Pog, champ. Hmm, actually, if I use the keycap, I don't need to use this condom. Are you ready for the pop-off? That condom was a little tight. Do you guys see this? My thumb is red. It was cutting off circulation. What the heck? You guys see this? That was a pretty tight condom. Not gonna lie. <laughs> what the heck? Bigger finger. <laughs> I need to know what the condom was for. This is groundbreaking waffle heises. Uh, Lumpy slump. Thank you so much for the follow. So, the, the Singa brass plate, as well as the TGR 910 brass plates, are known to be a little bit tight and panda housings are a little bit thicker than your normal cherry housings so when you combine those two and you try to build a singa or 910 with holy pandas you will most likely have a very hard time putting the switches uh, switches in um so it was it's pretty tough so my girlfriend got me these finger condoms to help reduce the pain a little bit What's the accusation for Holy Panda? What? What is an accusation? What kind of accusation does Holy Panda's? 
kind of accusations do they have? Oh, actuation. Um, there is no correct answer because you can make a holy panda with whatever spring you want. But if you're talking about the stock holy panda from Mastrop, I have no idea. Malt Karna, thank you so much for the five bits. It's five o'clock PM. Okay, we got time. Got time. I accuse holy pandas of being expensive on mech market. Are they still expensive on mech market? I thought they pretty much crashed down to like a starting point. Alpha 097, thank you so much for the follow. 96 holy pandas for 300. Really? People are still selling holy pandas for that much? And are people actually buying it for that much? You can purchase Halo, Trues, or Clears from Master Up right now. And Novel Keys, I mean, he sold the Yawk Pandas, but he has also stated publicly that he will be restocking more. There's literally no point in paying the premium for Holy Pandas now. Unless you, unless you have a dying reason why you can't wait a couple months. Yeah, you could have also gotten the Holy Jesus. I don't think he, he, that guy is selling anymore, but... What do you say is the hardest part of building a keyboard? Probably switch lubing. Probably switch lubing and stab tuning. Soldering honestly isn't that hard to do. Whatever happened to the guy who a uh, super van? I'm not. I have no idea. I mean, I know people joined in for his group by still, so people definitely received holy Jesuses. I don't know if he sold off his entire stash or if he has, if he still has a bunch just wait, like sitting in his room. No idea. What's the command for fave switches? Uh, it should be FAV switches or favorite switches or favorite switch. I believe any of those variations work. But if you type in fave, don't add the E. Ooh, I think that one pierced my phone. Lubing 90 Helios. Took me a couple of days. <laughs> Damn, feels bad. But yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty slow luber too. I mean, you guys saw my build stream with Brian. Brian was looping like two, three switches while I was looping one. But I, but I don't think it's a matter of time. I'd much rather take the time to be meticulous about my looping and go fast and have to re -lube afterwards. But some people are just fast loopers. And I envy them.
Do you recommend bag lubing Telios for my first time lubing switches? Ooh, uh, I would say yes. If you're going to bag lube any switch, it would definitely be linear switches. Um, I would just say start off with a little bit of lube and then add more. Um, the thing with bag lubing is there's, there's no real way to tell how much lube you need. Depends on just depends on RNG, depends on the size of the bag, depends on uh, how much gets on the stem. So yeah, I'd say start off with a little and then slowly add more if you feel like the switch is needed more. Uh, Callus CS Go, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Okay, since we are soldering. That means it is sponsor time. Um, the first sponsor we have is Cable Car Designs. Like you guys mentioned, Cable Cars is currently closed. He is going through some life things, so that is the reason why. Um, I will let you guys know when he reopens again, but uh, if you guys are interested in where I get all my cables from, Cable Cars is the guy to go to. Next up we have Dixie Mech. Uh, the final round of voting for Mech Madness is going on right now. Head on over to Dixie Mech's Instagram to place your votes. Uh, GMK Minimal is also over, so you cannot join in for that anymore. But Dixie still has some merch and stickers on his website if you guys are interested in that. I do have an affiliate link with Zeal, uh, Dixie Mech. Using it will get you 5% off all your purchases. Next up we have KBD fans. This kit we are currently building today is from KBD fans. So if you guys like the look of this AX, uh, KBD Fans is the place to go to. KBD Fans is the place to go to in general for just any kind of entry level or budget builds currently. They are killing the game uh, in that market. So yeah, hell over KBD Fans. Um, I might have heard wrong. Is there a Holy Panda merch? Yes, there is Holy Panda merch. Wait, I didn't say Holy Panda merch. Did I say Holy Panda merch? That's being run through uh, Clavier, no? Yo, Croy, what's up? If I got you Risk of Rain too, would you do a gaming stream with me? I feel like that would be good content. I have a spare cop. Wait, what is Risk of Rain 2? I have never heard of this game. Do I pivot to a gaming stream? Next up it is Kono. Head on over to Kono.store, GMK Live, SA Comdips are both currently live right now. Um, you can also join or you can also purchase or sorry pre-order a Kira Stealth or purchase a regular Kira. And I would also highly recommend that you join the waitlist for the Keystone Silo Switch keyboard. SA Granite is also coming up on Kono.store, so if you're interested in that, join the waitlist for it as well. Yeah, but Kono plans on... Kono's kind of been known generally for like having... Not entry... I mean, they do have entry level stuff, but more like mid-tier stuff. But I think Kono is planning on trying to be more in tune 
with the uh, super enthusiast high-end level as well so keep your eyes out for that the next sponsor we have is novel keys head on over to novel keys to purchase some yak pandas when they are in stock to make these holy pandas overall thank you so much for the follow i have a discount code with novel keys it is mk space x space mk uh, it is a reusable code and will get you 5% off the purchases. GMK Metropolis is also currently live. I joined them for the desk net. I encourage you guys to do the same too. Uh, Firefight Sage, thank you so much for following. Gotta go now. Gotta go to uni now. See you, Nathan. Have a good one, Potato Cloud. Thank you so much for stopping at that. Yeah. But the cream switches are also very nice on novel keys. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Kairos Rand's review of the cream switches, I would encourage you guys to take a look at that as well. And last but not least, we have the big zaddy, Zeal. If you guys haven't heard, Zeal purchased the Met Keys Discord for $61,000 today. The Met Keys Discord is now owned by Zeal. But <laughs> uh, Zeal PC is the place to go if you are interested in some super smooth linears, some super smooth silent linears, some super tactile switches. Zeal PC is a place to go. I also have an affiliate link with Zeal as well, so please consider using that. And of course, if you guys already don't follow me on all my other social media platforms, join me there as well. Okay, Pudsy sent me a link to Risk of Rain 2. Classic multiplayer rogue. Is this like Minecraft? Thank you so much for the host. I don't see that on my dashboard for some reason. Hmm. And I don't see a message for it. But it's in, it's in my chat. Thank you so much for the host hit choy. Thank you so much for... Wait, I thought you subscribed. Oh, you just had a message I see that. It's a shoot 'em up, okay. Um, sure, yeah. <laughs> you could have a uh, a squad stream. I do. Uh, I'm I'm kind of far off. Though. I was planning on doing a 24-hour stream once I hit 10k followers on Twitch or my one year anniversary on Twitch, whichever one comes first. I'll definitely need to play games for that. <laughs> I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I could do 24 hours of just pure building. Well, maybe I could if I have enough customers at that point in time, but. Uh, Mercury, it's pro. Thank you so much for the follow. Choi, thank you so much for the host. Yeah, sorry I missed it. It's oh, it's a no man host. Maybe that's why it didn't show up. I think the minimum for a message to show up is one viewer. How are you going to do twenty four hours? Um, I think. The 24 hour stream will be. I'll definitely have build in the 24 hour stream. I might honestly just like. 
play type racer for like 24 hours would that would that set a record for anything most consecutive hours played of 20 type racer <laughs> I might have carpal tunneling at the end of that stream, but I feel like that'd be good content just for the memes, just so I can say I streamed 24 hours. No talk, just pure type racing for 24 hours. I'll just cycle through my boards within those 24 hours. And then I can take some mukbang breaks because I need to eat food, you know? Otherwise, just no talk, pure type racer, 24 hours. Uh, Alchemist KB, thank you so much for the follow. Hours of reviews. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like a 24 hour stream is a must for any any streamer, at least at a partner level. So, yeah, we'll see what can what happens. I'm pretty scared to do a 24 hour stream. I've, I haven't stayed up for 24 hours since my college days. You're bowing out for now. Let me know. See you later. Have a good one, Putsy. Let me co-stream if you do 24 hours of type list. What do you mean co-stream? Uh, you come on my stream? Yeah, I mean if I did type racer, I would obviously open it up to chat too. Dude, that would be insane. Let me third wheel because I'm the best. <laughs> or should I just lube switches for 24 hours? See how many switches I can lube in a 24 hour period. Yo, Heine Bush, thank you so much for the one bit. Are the red pandas even any good? Just get MX rounds. <laughs> oh, wait, I just realized my display is also broken. It doesn't display the message for some reason. I see the message in chat in my dashboard, but it doesn't show up. Gotta fix that too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could def I can definitely do builds and like incorporate other stuff into it. I'm like low key tempted to just do some kind of stunt, like some mean stunt like that. You're moving my I'm moving my 67 gram zeal right now. Nice. Ah, what move are you using? Oh, Heine, are you, are you still in stream? I don't know if you know, but a special someone I became Facebook friends with today. I don't know if you were aware.
What is this Link Solid Snake poster? Oh, wait, what the heck? I have not seen this before. <laughs> Question, when you partake in a group by a novel key, does everything in your cart currently get shipped and the group by item get shipped separately? Uh, Sikonas, you cannot mix group by items with in-stock items. So if you are joining a group by item, only add the group by items to your cart, process that order, and then make a new order with other stuff. I think. Can you? Has that been fixed? I forget. That's correct. Yeah, so if you join a group buy with some other items, I think Mike actually just disregards your order. Tachi uh, Pana Lika. Thank you for the follow. I think it says it on every group by page. Looks like you didn't read the page, Sikonis. Do you think Hytox 12.5 grade 0 is too thick for holy pandas? Or do you clip your halo stems? No, I don't clip my... For my personal builds, I have not clipped the halo stems. Uh, 205 grade zero, yeah, it might be a little bit too thick. I would, I would honestly stick to 3204 at the most. I mean, unless you find holy pandas to be too tactile and you want to deaden that tactility a little bit, you might want to consider using something thicker. But I, th I think holy pandas are like just the right amount of tactility for me. So I don't really want to reduce that. Wait, you Korean? I am Korean. Hello from BTMC YouTube. I know I hear. Oh. like G browns? What are G Gatoron browns? No. Holy pandas are nothing like Gatoron browns. They're very different. Uh, best spring weight for holy pandas. I personally think 67 is about right. This person went with 63.5 so we can see how it feels at the end yeah no 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 switch comes close to um, holy pandas in my opinion other than Zelios V2s Zelios V2s are probably the closest thing in feel to holy pandas No, I haven't tried any of the Korean market keys. Uh, holy chickies, yes, holy chickies are pretty decent. Pretty close. That is true. I'm guessing Everest was talking about like stock spring stock switches. He was only naming stock switches, so.
Holy Sky. Yeah, Holy Skies also felt pretty close to Holy Pandas. Definitely scratchier and noisier though. Target sucks. Thank you so much for the follow. Well, Target does not suck. Target. Target's a pretty great place, guys. They got tons of stuff. Have I got the T1? No, so uh, I have not played around with T1s yet. KBD fans is going to be sending me some T1s, so I will get to try them out. I have not tried them yet. When's the last time I've been to Target? Ooh, I actually went to Target last week. He's actually streaming in a Target storage room. <laughs> Time is 5 30. Can I finish before 7? Lick, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. You solder the corner switches first. Yes, I like to solder in a couple anchor switches first. Let's see. So now we gotta test the straightness for the mods. Uh, 205 grade zero is pretty thick actually. You might have a hard time bag looping with that. Um, it's, it's definitely doable, I've done it, but I literally shook my bag for weeks literally weeks i shook my bag i bag glued my 78 gram uh, xylence v2s i shook it for three weeks your most anticipated keyboard coming up if you have one uh, like that I've purchased or that I'm looking forward to just in general what's up with those extra cutouts by the cluster um, probably for universality I don't I have no idea it might need yeah I don't know what this is for Maybe a future board, who knows? Which keycaps are that these are GMK Hyperfuse? Redux Slave Hyperfuse uh, Gooba types, it is all in my panel. 
Oh boy, I can already tell these are not straight. Oh, shoot. This left side's spot on perfect. Hmm. That is pretty straight, if you ask me. Couple switches here. Wow, that that is pretty impressive how straight it is. Okay, but this right side, this right side is a different story. <laughs> Going to need quite a bit of straightening on this right side. What lube do you use for Telios? I like 205 grade zero for my linears. Okay, so I mean, let me show you the tip if it shows. Uh, it's hard to show the straightness on stream, but this right side can tell that backspace is crooked. Mm, it's hard to show on stream how, yeah, it doesn't capture well with the contrast. Let's see if it's fixable. Switches in there pretty tight. Prince of Dubai. Thank you so much for the follow. I wish I was a prince of Dubai. How do you get grade zero? Um, I have a lube command, I believe. I get all of my lube from switchmod.net. guys it's actually just the back uh, backspace and pipe key needed straightening but enter and right shift look pretty straight you love that ghost rainbow says uh, the shine on the plate yeah this plate is pretty shiny okay let's see how well I soldered today Ah, it's 
not soldered on. Dang it, I turned my iron off. Okay, this control I did not solder on. So that is an easy fix. Prediction? What prediction? NK apparently dissatisfied with being a stealth member of BTS. Talisman, please! <laughs> I predict one switch will not register. Dang, Tommy Crayons with the prediction. Okay. Control now works. We are we're good to go. We are good to go, my friends. Uh, oh, wait. Wait. Um, Mr. Customer, if you are in chat, I know you wanted LEDs. I don't think you specified what colors. But I can do that later, too do that off stream uh, I want to change my switches and my keyboard but I don't have access to a well my question is does it have another way uh, unfortunately no unless your keyboard supports hot swap or switch top removal there is no way to switch the switch you would have to desolder and then resolder a switch unfortunately browns in your best tact no I actually genuinely like browns like I don't I said this before but I don't really crave insane tactility like the zeal v2s are nice but it's uh it's, it's too much tactility for my taste holy pandas I think are like about as much tactility as I ever want um, yeah I, like browns, like I'm a big fan of linears. Browns are like linears with just a very small bump. I think that's perfect. heavier on linear switches uh, what do you mean on lubing customer I will do that off stream uh, should I just do it I'll just do it now YOLO I think we can speed through it for caps lock. Others can be red and blue, doesn't matter. Blue. Let's see, will this make me late? Um, so green for caps lock. I'm gonna guess it goes num caps scroll like the use oh yes it does go numbs wait num this is num scroll caps so this is blue if he wants green he wants green for caps lock so i can't go r g b do i just go r b g you can go r b g
RGB that messes with my OPCD. Yeah, we can go R B G. This will go in the hole. Oh, it's bent. What the heck? this get bent so much? Contacts, hello. How do I lube my MX switch guide applying? How does your how I lube uh, apply? Uh, yes and no. I would say watch Krobit's video. Krobit has a pretty good video on switch lubing as well. I would recommend that. Oh, numlock is on by default. Sweet. And then green for caps. Nice. So we got RBG today. Any mods you would recommend for toper switches? Honestly, just lubing. I don't think you really need to silence toper switches. And lubing toper is fine enough, let's say. to elevate this on something. Ah, <laughs> oh shoot. This is why I have purchased decks of cards. So I can elevate the build. His decks, ducks just to elevate his keeps. Yes, no shame. Mm. Why does this plate look like it's not seated properly? Hmm, is it supposed to be lifted like this? Does not look right. Uh oh, does this plate not fit? Hold on, what? So it's fully depressed on this side. 
let's lift it up here and oh so the middle goes inward but these outer edges <sighs> I think there is a tolerance issue guys Oosh. okay there goes my LEDs where did my LEDs go Yeah, doesn't fit. So the middle, I can, I have this side fully depressed. The middle, middle cutout bends in, but the two outer edges does not move at all. Same with this side. Oh. No. What just happened here? No, that was the plate being lifted. Yeah, that was this. Yikes. Yeah, it's gonna require filing on the plate. GG. What if I did it the other way? Can I make the bottom deeper? Oh, actually the bottom. Yeah, making the bottom fit doesn't make the top fit anymore. It's the customer watching. <sighs> yeah, the Tyler the tolerance is just slight ever so slightly off. Screw it in and listen to the sound of the PCB crack. Where did my other LED fly off to? Just lube the plate. No, it's not a matter of lube. Bad trick, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, like you guys hear this? So I have the bottom aligned. Doesn't clear it. Um, I don't I don't also don't want to force this. Try it sideways. I can't do it sideways because yeah, even if I try fitting, aligning it like this, one side ends up being lifted. Yeah, it just shifts and then one side clicks in and the other one lifts. This is a scuffed build. <laughs> All that soldering to realize the plate won't fit. Do I need to start testing for plate fitment before streams now? I don't 
I don't something invasive like that I will leave it up to the customer to do was plate not in when it received no the plate was outside the plate was not screwed what happens if we try it from the bottom Wait, am I smooth brain? Is it meant to not clip to top? Wait, nope, this plate. <laughs> This plate is actually off tolerance. Uh, I, I, I thought I was almost smooth brain, but the plate is off tolerance. So I can put it in here. So the USB port is flush. So I have it right. If I align the plate for this leftmost edge, look what, hap look what happens. So I'm pushing up here as much as I can. So this mounting pole a point aligned, that's already off right there. And this is way off and I'm pushing up here with my thumb as much as I can. Like you can see clearly <laughs> screw holes are off. Same for the bottom. This left one is mostly aligned. Already is off. And the uh, Oh, this bottom one is the worst. That, I can't even screw that bottom on. Re <laughs> also, where did my last LED fly off to? I hope I don't stab my foot. I'll order you some keto friendly food for a surprise mukbang. Ooh. Okay, the customer is not watching. No response. Nah, this plate is not aftermarket. This is direct from KBD fans. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, even if the customer agreed to a grind, I don't have a Dremel or... F I'm not going to file this brass plate on my own. <laughs> Did not think this was going to be an issue. Time to go plateless. Uh, Star Fox, so what are the options? You have to get a new plate and then have it rebuilt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just placing it on here, it is severely off. I didn't know this was going to be an issue because the plate was not installed when I received it. But yeah, so this left side, top and bottom are aligned. You can see the middle are already off. And then these right ones are just completely off. I don't think this is an issue with all KBD fans. Like there are, there's definitely built KBD fans kits out there. It's just this particular one happens to have, I don't know if it's the plate or the case, but something is off with the tolerance. Yeah, I, I can't close it. I can't make it close. I have I currently have this back part so it's all flush 
But when I do that, this front just has this. The plate is cock blocking the top and bottom pieces from aligning. That is what's happening. I can't sandwich mount it. The plate just lifts up, it's just cock blocked. Um, I'm, I'm sure this is something KBD fans would be willing to send a replacement for. I would say send this video to KBD fans and they will probably send you a replacement, I would guess. Uh, affect the FR, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Since this is a manufacturing defect, but yeah, it feels bad. Quarter, go to dinner with the parents. Have a good nest of stream D. Uh, Solid Snake Drive, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Have a good dinner with your parents. Feels bad. Yeah, this is a Pepe Hands moment. Can we get a Pepe Hands in chat? This is very sad. The switches actually feel pretty nice and decently lubed. I was looking forward to hearing it. I was looking forward to feeling a KBD Fans 8X. I cannot. Do a typing test with it off? Should I just do a typing test with the plate and PCB? Just like this on my foam? Yes? Well, okay. I need to assemble this case back because... Typing test with no keycaps? Oh man. I am gonna suck without keycaps. Not that I'm good with keycaps, but... Typing test on empty case only? able to hear a lot of the switch noise if it's no keycaps. You guys don't mind that? Feel like air? You have a keyboard that has the same plate you could temporarily temporarily borrow no this is a this is a proprietary tko plate this is not just a yeah it's not using any universal plate let me clean up a little you think you'll join in on the rama u80 Probably can't afford <laughs> I mean Rama price It's not the cheapest and being a TKL it will definitely be more expensive than the U the M60 most likely uh, which means Probably at least 400 minimum base specs. Um, yeah, probably can't afford that. All right. You guys ready for the best typing test of your lives?
Uh, the KVD fans sell out pre-orders for GMK9. I don't think so. Yes, mods are aware of the bot. Since it is April Fools tomorrow, let's do this. Any mods avail in chat? All right, the keyboard is plugged in. Can we start the bot? Hello, mods? I can't start the bot because I have no. No mods? In Dang it. No mods. Uh, it's the exclamation point WPM start. Exclamation point WPM start. Wait, I can't even. Hmm. 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 How are you guys putting in zeros? Gotta start the timer somehow, you know. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? So this is currently one Huey away from the mic. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, we do, 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 we do. We do, we do, we do. The keyboard wasn't working. Oh no, cable got unplugged too, by the way. I think I need a deck to hold it in place. Three, two, one. Oh, look at all those winners. Yo, I'm surprised there's only that many winners. <laughs> Take the freebie win, guys. Uh, L. Diff, thank you so much for the follow. All of you guys should buy the lottery ticket today. Okay, attempt, attempt number two. Oh, wait, 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 we haven't finished yet, guys. Wait, still not done yet. We gotta go through the mods. Okay, you guys ready?
Oof. Zero rattle. Unplug cable. New new keyboard, new keyboard. Alright. Alright, I think I can actually type. <laughs> Alright. Place your guesses, guys. New round, new keyboard. So this is today's build. We are using lubed Yawk Holy Pandas. Uh, they were lubed with Trebosis 303 and spring swapped to 63.5 gram spritz springs. It's featuring a KBD fans, brass plate, and PCB. Uh, this is a naked KBD fans 8X Mark One. Yo, solid snake. I thought you go. I thought you're getting dinner with your parents. <laughs> Why are you still in chat? All right. Three, two, one. Read. Oh my gosh. How? What? How? <laughs> I need help. Oh. Oh, where's the eye? Oh, shoot. Is this going to be worse than my Korean typing test? Oh my god, what the... Oh! Oh, better than my Korean typing test. Yo, Trace of Bass actually won one. Wait, oh, I got... Oh, yeah. 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 Silent switch. <laughs> Andy, thank you so much for the ten dollar tip. Appreciate it. Wait, forty? Can I hit sixty with this? I think I just I think I'm a little bit better now. Okay. Place your bets. I I think I got a little bit more accustomed to it. Okay, let's see. I I think I could hit the worldwide average of typing without keycaps. I may not be actual glacier, but I think I can hit sixty. Actual glacier types faster than I do without keycaps than I do with keycaps. Can you guys believe that? Okay. Three, two, one. Oh gosh. I think it's this uh, space bar that's hurting me the most. Because I have to keep my thumb here. Shift is also going to throw me off. Oh, 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 oh. I am faster than the average person without keycaps. Okay, one more. I, I, I got the hang of this. Not the hang of this. One more time, one more time. Not the hang of this. Three. 
Who? Hmm. I, oh, this space bar. Yeah, this space bar throws me off. Oh, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. Read it. No, read the reader. This one's terrible. This one's terrible. <laughs> yeah, America throwing me off. Korea number one. Spacebar, please. Oh, no, the throws. I started off so <laughs> well. Man, oh, one off from the magical number. Oh, what the? We have a bunch. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, this is a switch only typing test. I, I am improving every test though. Should I do one more? Should I do one more? I have been improving. Do I continue this streak? Feeling lucky, one more. Okay, one more. We going again. One more, one more, one more. Be one with space bar only, Tehati Luffy. I, I like that idea. One with space bar only. We'll put the longest. Uh, actually, we can use the entire space bar. Wait, what? Kuroi, please! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh, you're resetting. I see, I see. Okay, okay. Fair, fair enough. No one's guessing. Three, two, one. Read, read, read. Hard to see. Read the video. Ah, the shift. No, Indian, please. Oh, whoa, yo, 
Oh, nobody guessed 81. I type faster than the average person with just a space bar key. Okay, at least the keep, at least the build works. Yeah, the build works. You should wrap up the empty KVD. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe I should. And then, um, if you came over from chat, we should have like a keyword that you should comment so I know you are you were there in chat. Hey, you should stop the voting after it starts so people get, can't just count how many words you've typed. Uh, that, that is a good point, Fly Bunny. I can, I can look into doing something like that. Yeah, I think so. Keyword NK sucks. Yo, what the? Boy underscore pie. Oh, I like that one. Pepe hands for keyword. Should we make that the keyword, Pepe hands? Uh, Sour Shake, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, let's make Pepe Hands the keyword. So if you were here live for this video, I'll, I'll upload this tomorrow on April Fool's Day. And then you guys, if you came over from the Twitch chat and you were participating in stream, comment Pepe Hands. No, not, not in chat. Comment Pepe Hands in the video when it goes live. Oh my, you trolls. <laughs> Pepe hands in the video when it goes. <laughs> What's this comment for? So I'm gonna upload this troll typing test tomorrow on YouTube. If you were watching stream and you came over from the stream, comment on the YouTube video that goes live tomorrow. The Pepe hands. So I'll know, so we can know, chat can know who was there for the actual stream and who is just watching. Glad I was able to make many laugh. Poo poo hands. Yeah. Uh but the the spring the switch it oh what the how did that switch? The switches feel pretty nicely lubed. Yeah, it's, it's a shame. I was looking forward to putting it in the build and then And then uh, using it, but yeah, I will. I will reach out to you, Mr. Customer. Well, that is it for today's build. Any last questions, comments, concerns? Oh, yo, we can give Beast Troll a raid today. We can raid Beast Troll. Raid Beast Troll MC. Yeah, we're gonna go raid Beast Troll, throw some Pepe hands and some raids at him. Or the raid. Wait, is the stream ending? Yeah, the stream is about done now. Okay. Yeah. Beast Trolls have given us a couple raids. It's time to return the favor and uh, wreak havoc in his chat. Yeah, thanks for the stream, gamer. <laughs> yeah, so once again, keyword is Pepe Hands when the video goes live tomorrow. Uh, sorry about the scuffed build today. I was looking forward to trying a KPD Fans 8X myself, but um, next week, streams will continue. I have three builds lined up next week, so yeah. Once again, follow me on all my socials if you guys haven't. Uh, I believe it's socials. Yeah. So we're gonna go give Mr. Beast Troll a raid. So I am gonna go meet up a rando and hope that the camera works so I can pick it up and start setting up my second cam for you guys. So until then, see ya nerds.